and good morning. Ready for another day. It's a little chilly again this morning. Just had barely enough sleep. Slept for about seven hours during the night. Now we're gonna go for a quick breakfast. Coffee and croissant. As good French person. And after we're going for some biking. Lazy bike. It's a uh, electric biking. But should be fun. And we're gonna taste even more wine today, so let's see. We just arrived at the Domaine Binaire, which is an estate apparently doing some like a vin nature, so natural wine style. So we will see. I have no idea what they are doing, so but I believe some Riesling and Gewurz. As you can see, it's the same architect who built the cellar behind here. So if you want to check it out, the name is Vinte. Uh, so he's been doing, uh, he specialized in bioclimatic cellar and some special housing. And so this estate started to produce wine in 1770. So it's a multi-generation. This cellar is pretty new, it's only a few years old. Now we're gonna go in the cellar to see what they're doing. We're in the cellar. They just got in some Gewurztraminer and some Riesling. They're gonna press it soon. And if you look behind, it's pretty busy here now. Uh, they just did a press. So this is pressing up there, just going down. some food trading. Normally you can do it with a stick, but they decided to do it by foot, old style, just for fun. And here in the back, they are racking out the leftovers, so the cap of the grapes. They're racking it and they're gonna use it. Oh, they're gonna use this, I don't know if you can see properly. They're gonna use this for distillation. Just tasted different wines. So this one is a Riesling that is pretty delicious. Yeah, so this one is a blend. The name is Amurschwir. And it's a blend of Riesling, Pinot Gris, Gewurztraminer, Muscat, and Auxerrois. So it's a lot of the grapes that are authorized to work here. Muscat and Auxerrois is uh, less used, but it's pretty interesting, very salty, very crispy wine. So we just tasted this orange cuvee, which is maceration of Gewurztraminer for eight days. So it's like orange wine, pretty much a lot of tannins, intense aromatic, but this is bone dry wine. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure it's gonna please everyone, but it was very interesting. Walking along the vineyards and now it's gonna be biking. But it's lazy biking. It's electric bikes, so we have about two hours. And after we're gonna have lunch. Typical local food is gonna be some shurut to get more calories. Shit happens. Again, we're going to the beautiful town of Bergheim. And it's pretty gorgeous. Look. Could bike like this all day.
we just arrived at the wine estate Charles Lefray, where we're gonna be doing visits and also tasting. But before this, we're gonna be cooking and we're gonna eat some choucroute. So I'm looking forward to it. And what we're gonna cook is called Schnecke. So I believe it is snails, but I am very bad in German or Alsatian. So I will see, it will be a good surprise. So this is Thibaut, this is one of the two sons of the estate. He is the responsible for commercial part. He is the brother, he is taking care of the vineyards and the cellar. And yeah, a little vacuum cleaner running around, cleaning the floor. It's nap time for him, he's from Corsica. <laughs> Choucroute and Marisa cannot resist. He's diving. Pretty awesome. First one, a good bubble at the Brut Nature, so it has no added sugar, no dosage, definitely. Very good. It's a blend of four different varieties. Only 11 euros. Cheers. Next one was a granite Riesling, so one of the top sellers, very easy going, very friendly. About 10 bucks. Alsace Grand Cru, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Uh, which is a bit close but will become a killer in a few years. It's vintage 2016, so very delicious. And then a little treat. They only do 1,000 bottles of this. It's the F Pinot Noir, not for Pabian, it's for the Frey family. So only a 1,000 bottle, cost about 35 euro here at the cellar, but it would kill a few people in blind tasting, especially among Burgundy uh, Pinot Noirs. And now we go in the cellar. <laughs> oh, they're doing a press of Riesling, which is just here. And it's a bit like in Germany about same color and now apparently we have to head back to the bus as we are going to another winery where we will have dinner and definitely more wine and i'm very happy to visit them i will tell you more later we're arriving at domain aquile which basically used to produce grapes only before and since a few years they vinify the grapes two sons came back to the estate they decided to launch and vinify their own brand so they built up a new cellar a few years ago and now we're gonna visit, taste and have dinner here. <laughs> now tasting some grapes. Been picked this morning. Even the bees like it, you see? No, it's a bomb. And then a fresh press. Just took it from the press behind. Ready, fresh juice. Smells like pure honey. It's pretty delicious. Mm. Fresh raw product, but this is amazing. Good vibe in the cellar, plenty of music. We finished tasting a few samples here. We just finished by this one, which they will never sell. It's definitely a wine they're making for themselves, which is done in Solera style. So it's only two vintage for now. And they're gonna put some, some 18 in there. So this. <laughs> they're doing some cooking, flamen or uh, tart flambe here, they say, because it's uh, French speaking cream. Bacon, onions, eggs, and fresh dough. This is a true delight. Tu sens? Tu sens? Ça tombe sur les hanches de suite. Now it's party time with some young producers, a lot of very nice wines. Stay tuned and see you soon guys.